In this video, we will cover preparing a LAS formatted LiDAR dataset for use in ArcMap, as is covered in Chapter 5 of the book, Working with LiDAR Using ArcGIS Desktop, which is available on Amazon. Begin by downloading the datasets outlined in the book. The fastest way to do this is to select LiDAR dataset on the Datasets tab, and then enter the Entity ID numbers on the Additional Criteria tab of Earth Explorer. After clicking on Results, you can then download the datasets individually using your browser. The LAS data will need to be processed before we can really use it in ArcMap. We will cover two different methods for doing this, one in Arc Catalog and one in ArcMap. Go ahead and open up Arc Catalog. You can see here I'm connected to my folder where I've saved this data and you can only see the XML documents, and those are just our metadata. In order to create a new LAS dataset, I'm going to right click on my folder, go to New, and LAS dataset. And I'm going to go ahead and rename mine Albuquerque. We still need to fill this dataset with our LAS formatted data. To do this, right click and go to Properties, check Store Relative Path Names, and then under the LAS Files tab, you can now go to the Add Files button at the bottom or even use the Add Folders button. And you're going to use the Look In drop down and find where those LAS datasets that you unzipped are stored. And you're going to add both of them using this same dialog. And all this is doing is creating a relative path to where these LAS files were stored. Back under the General tab, you can see information about the number and sizes of the files that you added to that data set. We're going to jump right into setting the vertical coordinate system. Click on the Z coordinate system tab, and we need to update the vertical coordinate system using what we know from the metadata. Our data is the North America vertical datum of 1988, so I'm going to expand North America select my datum and that I'm just going to click OK. Now my new data set is pointing to the LAS data that I downloaded and the vertical datum is correct. Let's go ahead and take a look. I'm going to come over to my table of contents and expand that folder I'm working in. Click on my LAS data set and click on the preview tab. This is going to show both data sets that we've added as a single point cloud. Now we're going to do the same thing, which is create a new LAS data set, but we're going to start from ArcMap. So in ArcMap, make sure you open up Arc Toolbox, and you're going to expand the LAS data set toolbox. We're going to click on the Create LAS data set tool, and you'll notice this dialog is very similar to what we saw in Arc Catalog. So you can open up Files or Folders, so you need to find that file of your LAS data that you had downloaded and unzipped. Click Open and you're ready to go. You just need to make sure your LAS output data set is saved where you want it. So I'm navigating to my LiDAR folder I've already set up and naming my new data set. Since I've already created the same data set once, I'm just naming it Albuquerque 2. Now if I scroll down to look at the rest of the options on this dialog, it's very similar to the one that we looked at in our catalog earlier. Um, you can go ahead and set a coordinate system if you need to do that. And I am going to go ahead and check compute statistics and store relative paths for this particular data set. And once you've checked through everything, click OK and that tool is going to run. I have sped up the process here a little bit for you on the video and when it's all finished I'll get my point cloud. I can close Arc Toolbox. So now I have my new LAS data set as a layer in my table of contents. I can right click on it and go to properties like any other layer and I can come under the symbology tab and I can actually change the color ramp for my point cloud if I'd like to. I can come here under the source tab and take a look at some of the information about this data set that we've just created. So now you know how to make a new LAS data set that you can use in ArcGIS directly from your USGS download in Earth Explorer. 
in the following tutorials, we're going to be using the same Albuquerque data set, so make sure you hang on to it. This video was produced by Virginia View, a consortium dedicated to promoting remote sensing, outreach, education, and research, with funding from the America View Consortium, in partnership with Virginia Geospatial Extension and GeoTED.